three, two, good evening. Tonight we're going to take a look at what may be 2016's perfect vlogging camera setup. So, I'm not going to chew your ear too long. I'm just going to show it to you and talk about it a little bit. I don't want to put you into a coma. So, this right here may be the ultimate vlogging camera setup for YouTube, Vimeo, interviews, whatever. We'll start from the top down. At the top we have a Rode Video Micro. The Rode Video Micro. It does not use power, yet still works quite well. For camera we have the nice 4K capable Panasonic LX100. Shoots beautiful, well not true 4K, it's actually ultra high def, which is 3840 by 2160, so it's not quite true 4K, but for all intents and purposes, it's really irrelevant. Some people get into big to-dos over the fact that it's not true 4K. For me, not as big a deal. So it's actually Ultra HD, but close enough. This camera, I think, is $699. This microphone is a measly $59.95, and it is a Rode mic. So if you have this mic, next year you can enter their yearly My Road Reel, which is a nice, nice way to show off your short films. Now, to get back onto track. 4K Ultra HD is the way of the future, although there are already 6K and 8K, camera, 8K cameras already coming. In fact, I think the um, Red Weapon is already 6K and is going to be an upgrade to 8K at some point, and I'm sure there'll be others. And then last but not least, for uh, your ultimate vlogging or interview camera, the Tascam DR60D. If I'm not mistaken, these are about $199. Uh, it has four channels. The camera can mount right to it. At the bottom is a mount so you can still put this whole Magilla on a tripod. I really don't recommend hand holding this takes four AA batteries, gets about three-ish hours of life out of a battery, or a set of batteries, I should say. Although it can be powered by uh, USB uh, plugs or the, uh, the big battery packs for charging your phone is another way that they can be charged and powered. And uh, I would recommend that. In fact, if you can get one that has... Uh, the same idea where it has a uh, quarter 20 on top and bottom so that you could plug it right into the bottom of this and then have the uh, mount for a tripod that would probably be perfect but uh, I actually haven't seen one of those you have two combination XLR and quarter 20 TR, uh, not quarter 20, quarter inch headphone jack type plugs. It's a combination, these two. Then you have the mini plug for uh, mics like the Video Micro from Rode. Four channels. Uh, three and four are on this plug. It also has camera in and out. So if you want to feed a loop through from the camera. Unfortunately the LX100 does not have a microphone in nor does it have a headphone jack one of the little shortcomings on this camera but at this price it's hard to beat this camera especially with an f1.7 Leica lens it's the equivalent of a 24 to 70 if I'm not mistaken which for a shooting film like this or interviews this is a perfect setup if uh, you're doing an interview and it you're not in the video 
a boom operator with this. They make a nice light carbon fiber boom pole for this road video micro. That weighs next to nothing. The boom operator will love you. You can actually put a strap onto these two little lugs here and put it over your shoulder and that do uh, your se dual system audio and have a dedicated sound man if you have someone to do that. Often I'm shooting by myself so can't do that. So all in all great system very inexpensive not as inexpensive as using your cell phone of course but hey this is several steps up from that. This has a nice the LX100 has a large ish sensor so it's much better than a cell, any cell phone camera it's a micro four third size sensor this mic works quite well within reason of course you know if you're out in the middle of uh, Times Square and uh, it's rush hour you're gonna pick up a lot of noise but if you're in a studio or in a reasonably quiet environment this mic will work quite well within about six to ten feet I wouldn't go too much further than eight-ish feet you might squeeze out ten and keep it good but I wouldn't go over six eight feet anyway that's about it hope you enjoyed this please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber have a great night bye for now onaki Wahi.